Part two of our Back to the Future DeLorean diecast build coming up next. Hello once again everyone and welcome back to another Monster Hobbies building video where today we're going to be wrapping up our die cast 124 scale Back to the Future DeLorean. So without further ado, let's return to our model building table where I'm going to show you how I rebuilt this car. Here we are once again with our Back to the Future die cast build and what, of course what I've been doing is taking the good components off of one car and going to make the ultimate version of the original car because remember these two are sort of scraps so what I've done is I've taken the panel out and I've painted the floor pan with a new gray color and then I've painted in here flat black I left the dashboard alone because it's got a whole bunch of things painted on it from the factory that made this kit so I'm not going to try to mess with painting all that again Anyway, let's just take this body off, and this one, if it'll come, there we go. So now we can sort of see the progress going on here. So I used some masking tape, actually the dashboard here is free, so let's take that off. Now I've painted this with uh, trim clad dark grey in here. And this color over here is the plastic color that the kit came in. So what I've done is taken out the firewall back here, because remember this is a rear engine car. And I painted the back flat black and the top piece with the new gray. Same with the seats, they come out. So I painted those the new gray color. And as you can see, it is quite different from the plastic gray. It's quite a bit darker and glossier and then I laid masking tape sitting up this way across here so I could paint the back part flat black so now it's more authentic to the actual movie production car so moving this one out of the way I've got a little paint list going on here of how this is all going to get painted up inside so we have on our steering wheel there is a green button on here and two red buttons. Uh, the interior wires are red, yellow and blue. Those are the ones going up along the floor in here and everywhere else. The interior panels are gray leather so I think we've got that there. And the nuclear reactor, this is all in the back up on here. So got it, it's aluminum, the hoses are steel mesh, the base is flat black which we've got in here now. Uh, there's a hose. Left and right junction boxes are also flat black. Crossover pipes are flat black and the crossover junctions are blue. So we're going to start painting this thing up just like this, which I got off the movies, of course. So before I begin painting all the wires and everything in here, I want to get a carpet color down because I'm sure the DeLorean would have had a floor carpet in it. And another thing that is bothering me is, as we can see on these other doors, there's these two mold marks in here from the metal casting and they have high sharp edges. So what I'm going to do is grind these down, which I've actually done over here. We'll take a look in a minute. And I want to paint this with a carpet color. So what I'm using is Model Master Acrylic Panzer Schwarzgrau, which they're not going to make this Model Master color anymore, but if you can get it, it's 47 nine five and as you can see it's pretty dark it should come out sort of flat looking semi-gloss maybe so it'll look right for a carpet and now as for these what i've done is i've taken my dremel motor tool which is right here <laughs> with a little sanding drum on it and i kind of went zzz, 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 until the high ridges came off those mold marks and we got something that looks like that so it's nice and smooth and the really shiny parts are of course where the paint is gone so i'm going to paint that with my model master paint and then we'll see how it looks so i did a few more things to our die cast delorean before i turned the camera back on i was only going to paint the carpets gray and then well you know time kind of ran away on me and i started to do other things but I was watching the video on the restoration of the real Back to the Future DeLorean to get the proper colors. So if you remember before, these wires were all silver in here. 
and I looked in the video and the uh, Back to the Future crew use red and yellow wires so these ones I've repainted with red. Now I'll just take the undercarriage out so you can see. There's all the red and yellow wiring inside here running up into all these different boxes and things. And I've also added in the different colors onto the capacitor. I did find out that this kit has a bunch of errors to it compared to the real car. For example, there's supposed to be another one of these yellow things sitting in here, which of course is not present. Now I've got some paint over top of these wires here, the black ones. Um, well, just a little there, but I'm not sure what color these are yet. I'm trying to find that in the video. These capacitors here in the front are blue, and then there's the three red ones here. These are more accurate. The wires are kind of a mixture between white and blue on these, but I just went with the blue right there. And then painted our copper box back here. And then this panel with our flex capacitor is going to pop into the back here. But I was working on it, so I thought I'd just show it to you. Okay, so here I've got that panel that's lit up. I was watching in the video and it does have this sort of bouncing light pattern as the car moves and whatever. So I sort of copied that. There's uh, two red dots there, red, or three red dots, two and then one in the middle, and then back up again. Uh, the copper box is here. I'm not sure if this wire is supposed to be red. This yellow wire that comes up here is actually not in the car. It's something that these manufacturer of this kit came up with. There's a gray terminal box there, and then our flux capacitor in there, as well as this. There's yellow buttons on there, which you can't really pick out too well. But anyway, this should all look pretty good once we start putting the pieces together. So, of course, there's our back box there. And then we've got our oops, switch way here are the seats, which are going to fit in nice and neat. And then, of course, all this is going to reconnect to the DeLorean body. I still have the back components to build up. But, as you can see, it is starting to look better. Now, i got the gullwing doors. And like I said, I painted the grey up in the top here. Just like it would be on the real car. And I've got the mirrors back on, so both sides are complete here. And that, so far, is our DeLorean work in progress. Well, one thing I did is I crazy glued the dashboard and then realized I had to repaint these wires. So that's my only faux pas with the thing. Oh, and the uh, three buttons on the steering wheel. So I had to reach in the side and paint them on, but I think I did it pretty accurately. Anyway, there's our DeLorean so far. So the next thing I want to do is, again, take the body off. And I want to clean up the running gear portion of this kit, which I have underneath here now. So, if you notice, there's two little uh, U-shaped pieces here and here. Those are holding down our metal wheels onto the chassis pan. But, the whole problem with the chassis pan is, of course, it's got a lot of mold marks in here, and rough edges and everything else. This is just basically cast and then pulled off the parts tree. So what I want to do is of course take my sandpaper and go along here, clean up areas with my number 11 hobby blade as well as get rid of some of these with my number 16 hobby blade. So I'm just going to clean this up and the whole reason why we want to clean it up is of course to get the wheels to roll better. And I don't know how well you can see this but there's a bit of the parts tree uh, knob sticking out here, which could actually affect, interfere with the front wheels. So we want to get all that cleared up so this will roll nice and smooth. And here we have our undercarriage all cleaned up. The edges are nice and smooth. And uh, it's not really too much to see on this. I mean, I just smoothed out the edges. But again, like I was saying, the nice part is now there's nothing hanging over the wheels, you know, that might make them lock up or whatever. 
and it's smooth all the way around so you're not gonna you know scrape your finger on the um, the flash that was on there you know got nice smooth operation I was gonna paint some of this but I'm not really sure how DeLorean had it I don't know if this was aluminum in the back here so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is now we basically got most of the car built here back together but I still have the extra box of interior pieces and of course one stuck in here that is our gear shift lever or, sorry our parking brake so now we're going to take some attention onto these components and try to figure out what they are and where they go now most of these are external body components for the time circuits do believe this is in the interior and then so is this that little component can't quite remember where that goes there's a gear stick lever so I just move these to the side yeah okay So, we got our gear pedals here that are going to go back in. Or, sorry, our gear pedals. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Uh, anyway, there's our little thing here. Now, in Back to the Future, this rounded portion on here is actually clear. So, I'm not quite sure how to uh, go about fixing that on this. But, of course, this white box will go there. And then our lever in there and the rest. So what I'm using is some crazy glue just to glue those components back in because this is a sort of a weird ABS type of derivative plastic and from the factory they of course just heated a knife and melted all the tabs in so I don't know but I'm gonna put in a few of these interior components try to figure out where this white box was from and this, of course, I'll have to paint, but I'm pretty safe with the pedals and the gear stick and the parking brake, as well as the seats, and I do believe the back firewall could be glued in. So I'm just going to do that off camera. And here's our Back to the Future interior, almost fully complete. I just wanted to show you something here before we totally finish this thing. So here we've got our bucket seats glued in. I've got our gear stick lever, our parking brake, and our brake pedals all glued in. The back panel is just sitting there because I need to uh, remove it and able to get uh, better access to these wires off the back. Now what I've done is I've put a little silver stripe on our gear stick lever here just to show the break point between the uh, stick and the top, which was chrome on the real car can see a lot of the neat little details in here that I've got so far. Now the one thing I don't have here yet is this piece. So here's our other uh, Back to the Future interior and you can see sort of the, the detail that I've put into here in comparison. Okay so just move it up. So this is almost like a a before over here and an after but you'll notice on this component here that it's totally painted white with a black handle now <laughs> I was watching the film a little bit and this is actually how this uh, component looks so you can see that it's got a black top it's got a green button in the back a red one in the front and this button thing up top right here is actually a stop button if everything goes wrong, you just punch that. There's also a red band on here, which is the manufacturer, I guess, of this component. Uh, the T-handle is black all the way up to the front, and there's a little gray band around in the front of this thing, which you can see. So that's actually how that's supposed to look. The white is only down the bottom, and unfortunately they painted the whole thing white. This is supposed to be clear in here, and you're supposed to be able to see the electrodes and the big bar and all that stuff but unfortunately there's nothing really I can do about that 
So now what I'll do is I'll take this off the clothes peg and I'll glue it down into our center hole here, which as you can see I cleared the paint away from there just to get that uh, plastic to plastic contact. I also scraped the bottom, but let's put it in and see how it looks. Okay, so here we have our interior. Now you really can notice the before and after. Of course, here we have just the regular gray plastic for our seats, our carpet, our interior. This thing is painted completely white. We've got our copper box in the back here. And then in the very back, our flex capacitor and everything is just molded in body color. Or plastic color, I guess. So there is the stock version as you can see and then we get into the one that I painted so here we've got painted leather seats I know the gray is quite a bit darker I do believe it's actually supposed to be more like this gray but there's not this gray doesn't exist as a spray paint that I have in my collection so I've got this slightly darker version which is kind of more correct for the flex capacitor box and everything I've got the flattened out carpets I've got the wires all painted in the flux capacitor painted properly and of course this with all the right components as I just described so there's our after and as you can tell of course the after should be quite a bit better than the before so now all that's left really on this model is to fix up the back components here on this package shelf and then hook it all into the body and add the couple of missing components that are on the body as well and then we can go back to the future. And here we have some components that I noticed are not correct to the real car. And of course, I'm referring to the paint job on here. Uh, the, our nuclear reactor is not actually silver with the uh, thing in the middle as gold. It's actually yellow in here. This is flat black. And the little circuit things around it are flat black. And this pan here and the hoses are aluminum. The hoses would be more of a steel kind of color. I'm not too sure on the boxes here, but I do know that that is aluminum. And then these back exhaust ports, they're also wrong because in the 90s there was a restoration where they painted these things flat black. But in the actual original Back to the Future car, they are more of a metallic color like this. Although this is a little bit bright from what I've seen. But still, they are supposed to be a steel color. So I'm going to have to repair these, or repaint them actually. This one though does need a repair, because as you notice here, if I can get the camera right, there's like a burn mark in here from the hot knife. Somebody was a little bit clumsy on there and they actually burnt this thing in the back. So I'm going to have to reconstruct it a little bit, hopefully with some putty. If not, I. I have to cut this uh, big blob off here and that will be able to fix our little exhaust ports. So we got some more parts to paint and what I think I'll do is I'll pinch this into a uh, clamp and then I'll just spray the whole thing flat black and then paint the aluminum on, on after the fact. So as you can see here's our painted components, the nuclear reactor end and the little box. Now there was one on the other side, but I did sand these a little bit to get some tooth to the uh, plastic surface for the paint, and I accidentally broke that one off, which I'll uh, put on the car and then glue in place with uh, crazy glue or something. And then here we have the back end, the little exhaust ports, and I painted this with a anodized bronze color from Tremclad. And of course this is a flat black from Tremclad on this. So what I need to do now is paint the yellow in here and the silver and the pipe color and that sort of thing. I'm gonna watch the movie again just to figure out if these are black or if they're uh, steel or something else. And I don't know if I'll stick with that anodized bronze color but I'll just take a look and see what's going on with it. And then the other little components that go on the back here down below <laughs> Oops, underneath the clip. I'll take a look at the uh, Back to the Future car again. On the special features of Back to the Future, they have a uh, how they rebuilt the original Back to the Future car after, or restored it after it was all wrecked 
from sitting out in the rain and everything for years and fans taking parts off it. So that's what I'm using as a reference. So I'll just paint all these parts accordingly and then put them on the model and, and uh, come back and show you all how it looks. Alright, so here we are with our completed DeLorean, the original, as well as the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean. And you can see here some marks in the roof. That's crazy glue from, uh, I guess, one of the factory workers. This one is, I can't complete it because there's so many parts missing. There's like the top of the Mr. Fusion, the other exhaust here, the uh, this side mirror, and a bunch of other bits. But here's our completed DeLorean. And as you can see, I've painted up the wires as comparison to these ones being solid black. We're going to take a better look at this one in a minute here. You can see the proper colors in the back here make it match the actual movie Back to the Future DeLorean, which of course I sat and I studied the uh, video there on re recreating the DeLorean, which was uh, because the original DeLorean people had picked parts off it and everything. So there it is. This is how it would look in the movie. So let's just take away this one, which is sort of unfortunate. There was not enough parts to put it back together again. And let's take a look at our real DeLorean here. Now with the gullwing doors. Let's see if I can just zoom in. You get a nice view of this. Unfortunately, the part that uh, is really sad is that there is no glass in these die casts, which would have just made it, you know, perfect. And then this little piece in the back here, I am missing it. It's supposed to be some sort of aluminum box with some vents on the top. And then there's a pipe or something that sticks out here somewhere. It's really uh, weird, but I don't have that component, which again is another one of those sad things. However, everything is painted in here, and in case my friend in Italy does find that component that's missing, you can just pop it in there, and uh, yeah, we're done. So let's take a look at this thing on the rotary. And here we have our improved 124 scale Back to the Future DeLorean. And as you can see, I put a lot of work into all these little wires out here, getting that red, yellow, and blue in there. And all the great details up in the back here, and everything like that. Spent a lot of time trying to get this right. Used a little white sticky tack under the wheels to stop this thing from rolling off the turntable. There's our out of time at the back. Inside here is a little bit of bronze, and then the fins are flat black, just as the real thing is. I put a little flat black into the exhaust tips here, just to make it more look more like a real car. And yeah, there's the other side profile. Quite a lot of different uh, equipment here on this side as compared to the other side. And as you recall, the interior and everything looks fantastic in there. And there's our front end. I'll just open up one of the doors here quickly. Actually decided to open up both doors just in case this shows up better. Now I made a little color change in here along this panel on the headliner. I was watching the movie again and I noticed it's not the same dark color as the carpet. It's actually a light color in there, a light gray, just to get this a little more accurate. And you can see my thumb in the video here a little bit. <laughs> okay, turning around onto the passenger side of the car. You can see again the gray padding as well as the instruments in here and everything else. And like I said, I couldn't get this crystal clear, but I did my best with the white that was in there. And I do think you'll agree that this is a lot better looking than, of course, what we started out with. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great build video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to know it. 
And until next week, happy model building.